Astute One provides a software Astute Payroll. Um, so that's our SaaS app, uh, which runs on AWS. And our clients use that for um, all sorts of uh, recruitment, timesheeting, payroll and invoicing activities for their staff. Um, so this is like temp staff, uh, casual staff, full-time staff. Uh, we provide the end-to-end -end software to help them manage that workforce. My official title is Senior DevOps Engineer, but um, as you would know, DevOps can mean whatever you want it to mean. In our case, that means uh, Cloud Architect. I was brought on to take our monolithic uh, payroll software application um, out of traditional data center um, and, uh, and lift and shift it onto AWS. Absolutely, yeah. So our first stage of moving to AWS was our lift and shift. We didn't make a lot of changes to the application. We made a few necessary ones, but, but other than that, it was just pick it up, drop it in, and hope for the best. And for the most part, that did work really well. Um, our second phase of that is containerizing our application. So we're moving to Kubernetes uh, within the next couple of months and uh, we're doing that on EKS. From the operation side, we're looking at uh, yeah, containerizing our software. So putting that onto EKS um, so that we can move a lot faster in terms of releases. So we can have our uh, developers using uh, the same environment that the production servers use and they can also contribute to that environment. So the environment that we run in is no longer dictated by the operations team. It's something that the developers are very much involved in because they're using it as well. As we uh, containerize, we're then looking at speeding up a lot of our uh, backend uh, storages. So we store a lot in MySQL at the moment. I mean, MySQL is a great relational database. It's not great for every single type of data under the sun. So we're looking at moving a lot out to, uh, say, Redis in Elasticache and also um, some searchable data into Elasticsearch so that we can leverage the benefits of those products. We find that really easy to do on AWS because, uh, well, I don't have to learn how to administer a Redis server or an Elasticache server. I just need to learn the AWS APIs that control it, and that's a lot simpler. And then um, our next phase after that, which will be over the next probably year or two, we'll be starting to separate our application into separate microservices and likely running a lot of those in their own containers, possibly even um, as serverless workloads as well. It's great to be part of learning what everyone else is doing um, and talking to people because we all have a slightly different experience. You can't solve a problem on your own. So as soon as you bring another way of thinking about it into the mix, you end up solving problems much quicker. The variety of Slack groups around have been really helpful for that. And it's such a friendly kind of style that these communities have. You can just pop on there and say, oh, this has happened and I'm trying to think about the best solution. You know, what do you think about this, this or this? And you'll instantly get a bunch of opinions from people who have possibly even been through the same thing before. And uh, it's a really great way to, to then leverage um, what AWS can provide um, to then, you know, go back to the boss and say, here are some solutions I have. And, you know, in the end, it makes AWS look good. It makes me look good. <laughs>